This is a 2013 C250. We'll be changing the turbo line due to an oil leak from the gasket right there. So first, first, remove the bolts holding the reservoir. I'm not just chucking. <laughs> and then um, remove that E10 bolt right there. E10 bolt here. And I believe this is a 13 right here. And we'll pull it out and change the gasket or the O-ring, sorry. Let's give you a better, a better view of where that E10 bolt is. So the reservoir is pushed over. See my ratchet here. It's directly right there under one of the turbo lines. So just go ahead and start getting that out. So just a little tip to remove that 13 bolt down there. I went ahead and took out these E2 E10s. One was here and one was here on the exhaust manifold just to push it to the side a little so I get a little better grip. So it should come out easily after that. Once you remove that 13 and 2 E10 bolt holding this turbo line in, it just comes right out. So with this turbo line, we'll be replacing this O-ring up here, as well as two washers that'll be above and below this. One of them I just got out down there, and the other one will be stuck right here. All right, so we'll be removing this O-ring here with the pick. I have the new one <coughs> right here. Just gonna put it on, maybe put some grease on it and slide it back in. Um, we have two new washers right here. One will be going above, sorry. One will be going above and one below. And we're just gonna hand tighten that down, put everything back together. Once we replace that O-ring, we're gonna try to slide it in. So I've set the camera down this spot right here so you can see, hopefully I won't knock it over. We're gonna put the washers in with the bolt. I'm gonna try to put the top bolt in first, or the bolt in, put the top washer in first before I get the bottom in. So I'm gonna set that in right there with the washer. As it sits, I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna go under and set the other one and try to guide it to the hole. Hopefully I don't knock over the camera with doing so. So we can actually pick this up a little bit just like the guy did. Right. Push the, the bolt down. Keep the washer from flying in. Just have uh, the washer lined up. Alright. And the top hole is still lined up with the engine book. So push it in. That's right. I'm trying to be a little careful since my camera's sitting right there on the engine. So All right, we're just gonna sit there for now. I'm gonna put move the camera and I'm gonna get it in. Alright, so once you have the E10 here, E10 in there. Sorry, I can't get a good view. E10 in there. And that E10 in, and as well as that 13 tightened down. And go ahead and put this pipe back on the bracket, which is used by this bolt here. Uh, put the exhaust manifold back on, and put the reservoir back on, and you're done.